What happened to this dog? Why is the dog limping? Why is he three-legged? What happened to his left hind leg? Was he knocked down by a car? The answer is no. This is a Be Kind to Pets video to bring veterinary medicine and surgery alive for vet students and pet owners. For more than 4 months, a skin lump of a 13-year-old male Maltese at his lower leg did not heal. The owner consulted Vet 1 who diagnosed that the dog has cancer. She went to Vet 2 who did an x-ray and biopsy. The vet sent the skin biopsy to the lab for analysis. The lab confirmed that it is squamous cell carcinoma. However, as their operating facilities were not functional, she phoned Topayo Vet instead. An x-ray of the foot was taken. The x-ray of leg tumour shows bone involvement. In this case, the bone has broken down due to invasion of the cancer cells. Chest x-ray of the dog was not done by the previous vet, but it may help to show the spread of cancer cells. The squamous cell carcinoma of the skin is a malignant tumour of the squamous epithelium. 4-18% to 18 of skin tumours in dogs are squamous cell carcinomas. Most of the dogs live in sunny climates and high altitudes. The signs include skin growth, crust or ulcers that do not heal for months despite treatment, misdiagnosed for draining abscesses or infected wounds. The cause is either unknown or exposure to ultraviolet light irradiation. Risk factors include ultraviolet light exposure for a long time, non-pigmented skin, and old burn injury. A biopsy of the abnormal skin from the left hind leg was done by Vet2 and sent to the laboratory for histology. Treatment of this case. Surgery. Amputation of the affected left hind leg at the level of the knee joint. Tumor is invasive. Another alternative will be radiotherapy. However, it is not available for Singapore dogs. The image shows the amputated left hind leg at the knee joint 48 hours after surgery. The movement of the dog has to be limited for the next 14 days for nursing. Medication for other cases may be Chemotherapy in cases with incomplete surgical excision metastasis or non-resectable mass. The owner asked about the survival time of the dog. The survival time of the dog depends on whether the cancer has spread to any part of the body, especially the lymph nodes and lungs. If the cancer has not spread and surgery is complete, the dog will live a normal life as recurrence is unlikely. The video shows several black pigmented areas. The black skin crust is likely to be squamous cell carcinoma. Tips and advices. Small skin growth, especially in older dogs, should be checked or removed by your vet early. Small skin ulcers or wounds that do not heal at all may be cancerous. Get a biopsy done. Black pigmented skin crusts may be squamous cell carcinomas. Best to get them removed when they are small. See, it, it, it pull out all, all the all the back thing, and then see whether it still remains or not. That's why you need to shave off all first one. Then you rub. Uh, but I suspect it is uh, But okay. can't tell yet. Can't tell until you shave first.